So welcome you again in our meetup. AI and workforce management are playing increasingly important uh, important roles in shaping the customer the customer experience uh, trends we see today. Uh, so the innovations from AI and workforce management um, only grow, allowing companies to excel at customer experience and as, as they adapt working models to the uh, changing times. Huh? So, and to help us better understand best practices and identify and implementing and optimizing AI to wow customers, I'm thrilled to introduce our speakers. Today, Olga Gomez-Archuk, uh, project manager at CloudFresh. Hi, Olga. Uh, Maxim Kushenka, customer experience engineer at CloudFresh. Uh, hello, Maxim. Uh, Sasha Zaharenka, senior, uh, senior solutions consultant at uh, Zendesk. Hi, Sasha. And Exxon uh, Ali, senior account uh, executive at Ultimate. So thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce you who we are. CloudFresh is a global Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta partner. We are trusted by more than 1,400 customers from more than 50 countries. We offer an entire life cycle of, of uh, professional services to support our customers from consulting and planning to implementation and uh, uh, training uh, to your team. So. Uh, we are proud to have worked with uh, the best companies in various industries, uh, such as uh, Deloitte, Price, Waterhouse, Coopers, Vodafone, Forks, and many, many others have chosen Cloud Fresh. Uh, and what we would like to offer for you today is uh, a free hours of free consultation with our Zendesk experts. So I claim you, uh, so I ask, uh, I um, offer you to claim this offer, simply scan this QR code and fill out uh, the form and we will be in touch with you after our meetup. So, and before we start, I call you to be active in our chat uh, and ask the most interesting question to be one of two winners uh, to receive a unique CloudFresh and Zendesk set, shopper, bottle, notepad, and socks. The winners will be chosen by our speakers at the end of the session. So thank you for your attention. And now I would like to give a mic to our first speaker, Exxon, you are welcome, please. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Evhenia. Nice to meet you, everybody. Um, so my name is Hassan. Um, I'm based in Berlin, and I'm a senior account executive um, at Ultimate. So I've had the privilege of being in this space where AI meets customer support for over four years, um, and also had the opportunity to work with some really cool brands like Deepel, um, Felix, and also TransferGo. Uh, I'm proud to be able to introduce everybody to this amazing event. Uh, we've got some great speakers as well. Uh, ahead of us. Cool. So to get started, if you haven't met Ultimate before, um, we're an automation platform that you want to outgrow. And we're the world's leading leading virtual agent platform for customer support. Uh, right now, we're 150 people today across Europe and North America. And we're also the highest rated support automation uh, platform globally uh, on G2. Um, and that's voted by our customers. So a couple of brands that we work with, you can see here, um, we work with some of the world's leading CX focused brands. Um, I would say there's no specific industry that we focus on. So, um, you know, we span across airlines, uh, telcos, uh, e-commerce companies, fintech. So uh, it's really a horizontal, horizontal challenge um, that we love to get deep into. Um, and the main thing that these companies all have in common is that they typically have a high volume of requests in customer support. And um, a lot of these take up valuable time um, for agents, but also customers demand faster and faster responses. Cool, so a little bit more about, I'd say what makes us stand out. So um, why do we claim that we're an automation platform that you want to grow? Um, so one is that we allow you to implement 24-7 uh, global customer support in up to 109 languages. Um, so Finnair, for example, is one of our customers obviously based in Finland. Um, and we pioneered um, the approach to multilingual AI models in this space. So 
Um, Finnair wanted obviously a company that could handle Finnish natively. Um, and we were the first company in the market that could do that, which is why we've partnered with them now for, I think, over five years. Um, also in Eastern Europe, uh, Superbet is a good example. Um, so they're Romania's um, I think number one eye gaming operator. And again, for them, it's really important to be able to handle Romanian uh, natively. And again, we were the most accurate company when it came to that language at the time. Um, I think agent experience is something I'll get onto later as well. Uh, just making sure that we can help agents be as efficient as possible and deliver that outstanding customer experience which is what they're there for. Um, and then generative AI is something that we're investing heavily in as well as part of our roadmap. Uh, and that's something, again, that you'll hear probably coming up a lot, not just from us, but also from, from Zendesk and Sasha later on. Um, another thing is, I think, automation. So at Ultimate, the automation potential um, is the ceiling is really high, uh, and that is the benefit of going with an advanced uh, provider like us. So you can automate up to 60% across live chat, email, uh, and social messaging. So how do we get there? Um, so enter generative AI. So I like this graph because it also shows a little bit about my journey at Ultimate. So I've been here four years, and some of my colleagues think I'm uh, a dinosaur because it's a, a long time at a, a startup. I think we were 25 people when I joined. Um, and we were kind of more in the middle of this graph here, right, where you can see uh, NLP-based bots. So that was something that really made bots stand out um, back then, which was you know being able to really understand the messages that customers are typing in and, and uh, picking up on them very accurately as opposed to just using keywords, but really using deep learning and, and AI. Um, but from there, we've made it more advanced as well. So that's where we've coined the term intelligent virtual um, agents, which is now also how you can uh, see this category in G2 if you're looking at different uh, bot providers. Um, and so that's where the automation rate gets higher, right? So you can integrate with backend systems using APIs. For example, for an e-commerce customer, it might be, where is my order? You might want to start performing more actions in Zendesk, like adding tags, updating custom fields. Um, but right now, we're kind of at this, this final wave here. Uh, where you can see the automation rate gets even higher. And that's thanks to generative AI, because now that large language models have come into the mix, um, it's really, really powerful when it comes to understanding what are your customers asking? How can we respond to them in a conversational manner? And really filling those, those gaps um, in the knowledge that in the past you would have really had to build out more and more intense for. But now generative AI can come in and, and uh, yeah, cover those gaps. Cool. So we recently released our 2024 um, trends report. So I'll get onto how you can download that later. And there's seven key topics um, in that report, and I'll be focusing on three uh, in this session. And those three are uh, uh, customer service becomes a brand, agent experience takes center stage, and I've already focused on the last one, which is where AI is uh, kind of at an innovation um, sorry, AI innovation is kind of at an inflection point uh, right now. So customer service becoming the voice and vision um, of your brand. I speak to lots of companies um, you know, on a daily basis, and customer support's not just this traditional cost center, right, where it's all about saving money, but also it's very much about how can we engage our customers? How can we make our brand stand out? Because people will keep coming back to a positive customer experience. And when it comes to this slide, so a couple of facts that I wanted to call out, I think for 43% of businesses, uh, CSAT remains the most important metric, so customer satisfaction, um, but net promoter score is also gaining ground. So I think 23% of CX leaders say that NPS is the number one metric that they will track uh, in 2024. So really key, key takeaway here is to focus on outstanding customer experiences and AI needs to be an extension of that um, as well. Um, agent experience, so when it comes to agent experience, um, there's a lot that's lost in customer support as an industry every year due to disengaged employees and, and agent turnover. Um, I'm sure we've all heard that in customer support all the time, that it's one of the highest turnover industries in the world. Uh, and I think 8.8 .8 trillion US dollars are lost each year through disengaged employees. So 
generative AI promises to support agents in their roles. Um, it's There's a lot that you can now do to help agents, such as summarize conversations, um, you know, help to give agents suggested answers as well. And so I'm sure you'll hear a little bit more about that from uh, Zendesk as well later today. Um, but it's a really powerful tool to help empower your agents. And actually, we've seen that ultimate agents have also um, gone on to receive promotions and become more AI focused in their roles. So there's more to play for, right? In the, in the industry, you can become an automation manager, you could become a self-service specialist um, as well. Cool, so I'm just gonna leave this slide up for uh, a couple of seconds. So if you do want to download that ebook of ours, the 2024 Customer Service Trends, uh, feel free to scan the QR code there um, in the left-hand corner. We'll give it another, I don't know how long, maybe 10 seconds. Cool, we also have a link in the chat so you can directly download it. Uh, and then finally, just to close before I hand over to um, Efenia and, and Zendesk, but speaking of Zendesk and generative AI, so you might be wondering, um, how, do, how does Zendesk AI compare to Ultimate? So um, I think both of these, obviously, AI solutions are here to stay and they're here to work together. Um, Ultimate is more if you're looking for end-to-end uh, -end automation, um, you know, it's more on the enterprise side, you're looking for something that is more sophisticated uh, depending on your use cases. And then Zendesk AI is definitely great for the agent experience. Um, and also, yeah, uh, uh, I think introducing generative AI um, to the mix um, as well. But if you want something that focuses on sophisticated automation use cases, for example, connecting to back office systems, uh, and really personalized end-to-end, uh, -end, then uh, Ultimate uh, is here as well for that. Cool, so that's uh, that's everything from me. Uh, over to you, uh, Fenya. Thank you very much, Exan, for your speech. And I'm happy to introduce our the next speaker, uh, Sasha Zaharenko from Zendesk. Sasha, please, you're welcome. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you here. Some of you, I see. So a couple of uh, old names. Hi there. And hi, everybody. I don't know yet. I hope we will learn each other at some day. OK, so I think I don't need to elaborate that we are all living uh, through the AI revolution. So we know uh, all we know, the <coughs> excuse me, chat GPT, so the fastest app, uh, growing app of all times. And the question for service team right now is, how do I adopt this uh, to make the most powerful new technology to uh, serve my customers? And let's jump into it. So the bots are getting smarter and smarter. And before we jump into it, I would like to tell you a personal story. A couple of weeks ago, in the middle of the chaos of snow in Germany, I was flying from Georgia back to Frankfurt, and I had had a layover in Munich. And as I were landing, so I saw, OK, there is no way that I'm going to catch my connection flight. So I just turned on uh, the Lufthansa app, and it instantly told me, hey, you're probably going to skip your next flight. Should we rebook it? And I just went directly, yep, exactly. And it shows me available flights uh, for the next time. I just select uh, the flight an hour later. And before I click on the submit, I am thinking about my luggage because, okay, so I can be rebooked by my luggage. So do I need kind of additional uh, interaction for this month? But then I thought, okay, so I'm flying home. I can pick up my suitcase later and just said, okay, so let's take this flight. And um, after I selected the flight, I got the message, okay, we just rebooked you. Here is your new boarding pass. So I got the QR code uh, directly into the app. And by the way, we also rebooked your luggage for this flight and everything went smoothly. Well, it's not always the case with Lufthansa, unfortunately, but this time it was great. And this is just an example of uh, how happy I was to interact with a bot instead of staying the queue and speaking to somebody on the counter. So the power of uh, bots is growing. And I think that the sentiment of the people is kind of uh, 
tipping uh, from negative. Oh, I need to go through the bot uh, instantly and go to uh, to a human to solve my problem. So now people start to understand, okay, so I would rather speak to the bot and solve my problem instantly than wait for the human interaction. Okay, so um, thanks to GPT, um, generative AI uh, and chatbots like ChatGPT, so the needs, so they understand this all more complex issues and can solve it without the human interaction. We also, so people, uh, actually your customers are expecting the real-time personalization and what I just uh, told was exactly the real-time personalization because it just connected the dots across the enterprise so where he is, so what the customer is experiencing right now, uh, so what can we do uh, automatically uh, for them. And of course, uh, you have the, the customers are looking for the new ways to connect. Okay, so and the leaders who will be able to uh, differentiate on AI are uh, going to create the new class. So we were talking, if you are already along with the Zendesk or if you have looked at Zendesk previously, you have seen uh, that we uh, were talking about, okay, so the companies who provide better uh, support, who are providing better customer experience are growing three and a half times faster. So now the AI is going to unleash another class of the leaders. And this class of the leaders is going to be, oops, the animation doesn't work. So this three and a half times faster growing uh, revenue uh, for great CX and for the great uh, AI strategy, you will be rewarded even more. So we expect those customers who do more positive experience with uh, with the new brands or established brands who have a new strategy for the uh, uh, CX and AI and a mix of it going to grow five to seven times faster. So it's always definitely worth to invest into the AI. Okay, most decisions, uh, makers are finding themselves overwhelmed so and uh, the complexity is involved and the most say that they are failing behind when it comes to the leveraging ai for the organization and then there is an issue of data privacy and security so these decision makers say their biggest challenge with the ai is figuring out how to keep customers and company data safe given that ai is ultimately fueled by data and introducing Zendesk AI. So we are uh, built on the best CX data and expertise. I'm gonna give you a number and a couple of slides. And there are real customer interactions. So um, when the off-shelf model, so when we compare the off-shelf models with the Zendesk model, so we see that the off-shelf models tend to, for example, um, classify the emotions or sentiment on every customer interaction mostly as negative because there is an issue so if there is an issue customer uh, or uh, the human who is writing this is uh, has a bad mood whereas specifically in the cx industry it's not always the truth so the majority of time it's actually neutral what the other models are uh, classifying as negative and our AI, excuse me, uh, targets the most crucial moments across your CX. So because we understand uh, the ins and outs of CX, we can help you uh, to uh, strategically deploy AI in the places that we have, uh, that will have the most impact on your business outcomes. Okay, the last mile of AI, and now you see the number. So basically our AI is built on and trained on 18 billion conversations and interactions worldwide. So this is actually the biggest data set in the industry. And AI is usually only as good as the uh, data it's trained on. 
So, and we are talking about the first, middle, and last mile, and uh, the effort that is combined with that. So, first, you need the data capture, cleansing, labeling, some massaging of data to get a wonderful model. Then, you need to build this model, and you kind of uh, get a huge army of developers uh, doing the uh, tech and AI model, and then you need to deploy it into the real world interaction. And what you get with Zendesk, so we took care of the first and the uh, middle mile, and uh, we give you the ready-made model that you just need to turn on, flip the switch, and just lean back and look at uh, how it works wonderfully. So, and uh, we are also trying to build a different type of AI solution that isn't just good at being smart, but one that can actually speak service. And we already have talked about this. So uh, that 18 billion CX conversations were used to build this. And we started by building a solution that truly understands and can help to answer two fundamental questions. What does the customer want and how does the customer feel? And we have found that uh, if you can answer those two questions, you can create new ways to route tickets, create new automated workflows, new bots, and better understand uh, your customer and give them a better CX experience. As uh, there is also another comparison, uh, so we have also compared here at this service interaction, the off-shelf models and Zendesk models, and we find out that the results of uh, our model is about 20 or 30% uh, more accurate. And if we're speaking about 20 to 30% more accuracy, this is a huge number of interactions that is hiding behind that. Okay, so, and with the Zendesk AI, so what you have, you have, uh, you can basically uh, do, uh, handle your uh, spikes very efficiently. So we all know about the spikes, so you don't want to overstuff uh, your agent team, but on the other hand, when it's too uh, much to do, so they still need to cope with that. And AI is a great uh, help with this one. Okay, so you can scale the automation with less effort because everything is ready-made. Uh, so we have intense suggestions, we have generative responses, and I would elaborate a little bit on that. So uh, the importance of the knowledge base is growing. So previously it was like, okay, so the bot could do something, and you know probably if you have interacted with the Zendesk already, you have seen the replies like, hey, this is article, and the answer to your question is in this article. So now, instead, we are generating, based on your knowledge base, we find uh, actually the knowledge that the customer is interested in, generate the answer that exactly is the answer to the re uh, request of the customer. And as you see here on the screenshot, we give additionally uh, the uh, link to the article. Okay, so this is the answer to a question. If you need more information, click here. So this is way more conversational and natural experience uh, for your customers. And beside of that, we are also helping you to uh, detect so where is where are my knowledge gaps? So people are asking about this intent, but you don't have this intent automated yet. And we are helping you to detect, okay, so you might want to create the article about this. And this is the intent people are asking X number of times uh, in Y number of days, and you might want to automate this one. So it's not only kind of you, you get something uh, and it just works as it works, but uh, it helps you also to improve the experience uh, one point after one point with for your customers. And of course, generative tools, AI integration, we are the partner of OpenAI, the company behind the ChatGPT, and we also provide the generative tools for your agents. Basically, your agents can just write the idea of the reply, click on uh, expand, and it produces a full-fledged uh, answer, as you see in the upper image, and uh, make it more friendly or make it more formal tone shift. So uh, 
I don't know if you are fans of the Dilbert comic, but this is one of the use cases I love to show to my customers. So uh, there is a Dilbert comic saying, uh, hey, just shut up and reboot. And uh, I like to experiment with this one. And I just write shut up and reboot and click on make it more friendly. And it produces the answer like, uh, dear customer, I understand your frustration. I would like to ask you kindly to reboot your device that might help solving your issue. So, and this is, of course, way more friendly than shut up and reboot. So, your agents are equipped to do way more with uh, AI uh, than they can do on their own. And okay, drive intelligent workload based on your business needs. Um, so instead of uh, providing a fixed taxonomy, admins will be able to add and remove intents and receive notification of taxonomy updates. So this is building up the experience of the bot uh, point after point. And the initial scope is tailored. Uh, so you have the flexible taxonomies and machine learning team having control of adding custom intents. So we are uh, going to launch this capability in the next year. And the entity detection, um, so it saves uh, agents the time on uh, reduction and PII. Uh, what we are rolling out, <coughs> I believe it's already in early access program. You have, uh, or we're just about to launch, or this is already in beta. Uh, so automatic and, uh, item detection. So we all have the privacy and policy um, rules that are imposed on our organizations and you have um, uh, obligation to protect customer data and if you need at some point i don't know social security number credit card number password or email address at some point uh, you don't want to store it anymore in uh, Zendesk because it's a very sensible data. So we are going to automatically detect the PII data. Uh, so if the, when the uh, agent is clicking on, okay, I want to delete PII, we are pre-selecting all of the PII we found automatically in this post and this will be automatically then removed per uh, button. So conscious of time, I think I need to speed up uh, because we have another speakers with the wonderful other news from Zendesk. Uh, I think that, so the stages of uh, this one, basically you do your foundation with your service, uh, service data first. Uh, <clears throat> so our AI, uh, analyzes your tickets so you can design uh, the right automation strategy for your business. Uh, next, we help you give uh, to agent the right tools to level up their decision making process. So this is similar tickets, this is uh, suggested macros and so on. So basically we learn on your uh, previous service data what your agents previously have done, what is the recommended, uh, recommended action uh, as a next step. And the final step uh, is to engage and delight customers, of course. So AI services at, uh, your, uh, are your helpful guide, allowing you to auto-create both flows and sell service resources and customize every customer touch point. So we have spoke about a couple of those. And last but not least, of course, so trust has become the ultimate uh, currency in AI. And so we are building the trust and transparency into every aspect of AI. To create responsible AI, we are focusing on a few key areas. So uh, we safeguard the customer data to allow our customers to meet their uh, rigorous pra uh, privacy policies. And we are upfront about how our tech works. So we always kind of, uh, the plan is not experiment and if it works then it works. So it's always a huge planning process on our side. We only make AI available for the customers uh, that the models pass uh, or fit is extremely good. So there is no customers working on Zendesk where the uh, accuracy of the model is uh, fewer than 95%. And we identify the best technology uh, partners 
for our customers, like uh, OpenAI, of course, we need partners. We don't say, hey, we do AI, we are the best. We don't need anybody. Of course, we partner with the best solutions on, uh, on the market. And we always ensure there is a human oversight. So it's uh, not, uh, it's always a supervised learning. So, uh, because this is right now extremely important kind of to eliminate the biases, to eliminate any uh, issues that can arise potentially with AI. So Zendesk AI is secure. Zendesk AI is super easy to uh, just flip the switch and you are already using Zendesk AI. If you have any further questions, I would be really glad to answer them. Uh, feel free to post your questions in, this, uh, in the chat here and I think we are going to address them after the session. And with that, back to you, Kenya. Thank you, Sasha. I see we have some questions in our chat, but we will have Q&A session at the end. And now I would like to introduce our next speaker is Maxim Kushenka. Max, please, you are welcome. Hi, all. Nice to meet you. My name is Max and I'm a cloud engineer at CloudFresh. And today I will tell you about TimeShift. What is TimeShift? TimeShift is uh, Zendesk workforce management tool acquired in June of this year. And what is workforce management tool mean? Having the right number with the right knowledge in the right place at the right time. There is a lot needs to happen uh, to achieve that. For example, how? Leverage Zendesk data and AI to forecast. Automatically schedule your workforce. Uh, boost team productivity and effectiveness with tracking and real-time insights. All while keeping agents happy by providing them a great user experience reducing turnover. We also know that happy engines means happy customers. Time shift is the only workforce management tool you can spin up in minutes to help businesses reach new efficiencies. And best of all, it's native to Zendesk, which means customer can turn it on and start using it immediately. Here are the key problems that many companies face, like high overtime costs, which mean difficult in understanding who spends how much time and on what. Too much time to schedule agent adherence and productivity, slow or stealth seeks improvements. Therefore, Zendesk integrates such functionality into its solution. The first one is real-time tracking. When agent is ready to take time outside of the desk throughout the day, all they need to do is select like a general task and that applied to the that activity before they start. When they come to Zendesk, they won't need to do anything. They will automatically be closed out from the task that at the moment they start to work on the ticket, maybe or on the chat or call. The time in agent activity is separate into different activities like channel work, general tasks and untracked time. By clicking on the agent's name, you will be able to see a summary of their activities, broken down into paid or unpaid time on the right side of the screen. Locations allow you to create shift layouts, assign agents to them, and define scheduling like rules that will serve as directions for time shifts algorithm to follow in order to create a schedule that works best for your team anything from operational hours like time zone to the maximum number of working hours per week are set up with the functionality currently there are two shifts logic options to choose from automatic or fix it forecasting you can run a forecast with one click when you select a work stream time shift begins calculating the future contact volumes and staffing needs depending on how much historical ticket data you have and it might take a moment to see that forecast for selected work stream i think it's all from my side uh, thank you all i will uh, pass my word to evgenia uh, thank you, Max, for your part. And uh, I would like to introduce our last speaker is Olga. Olga, please, you are welcome. 
Uh, hi everyone, I'm Olha, project manager at CloudFresh, and I want to introduce you a new tool, Advanced Data Privacy and Protection. So, um, and I would start with the uh, information that companies definitely face pressure to protect customer data from the client's expectation for privacy and increase cybersecurity threats. And uh, while Zendesk Suite contains everything most companies will need, others need more, especially in industries such as government, financial services, healthcare, retail, and technology. And I remember like maybe two years ago, I received some request for ticket deletion from a big global retail company. Uh, cannot specify the name due to NDA. So we found some solution, third party solution that integrated with Zendesk and we partially uh, solved uh, the request of the client, but uh, still there was some issue because uh, the uh, rule didn't work. One rule didn't work because it deleted the ticket the client needed that was only closed one week ago, but uh, the rule was set up for the deletion of the ticket that was six months ago. So it was quite uh, a frustration for the client. So I'm really happy that we have advanced security solution that will cover all the privacy challenges. So let's talk about it in more detail. Uh, so. Uh, what is included in uh, advanced data privacy and protection package? It's access log, advanced data retention policies, advanced redaction, uh, data masking, and advanced encryption. So uh, the first one is access log. So it captures what data um, an agent or admin access in using this account within the last 90 days. So this feature brings more clarity on what ticket agent are accessing, what information are agents searching for, and what user profiles are agent viewing. So as a result, the admin will be able to identify suspicious behavior, like repeating searches for credit cards or some personal or sensitive information. And the next feature is advanced data retention policies. So it helps to reduce the volume of data you keep, deleting the data you don't need. So you can delete all the tickets based on the timelines. For example, you can delete the tickets that were uh, closed more than a year ago or delete some tickets with some specific tag as GDPR or, for example, VIP. And the next one is advanced reduction. I think Sasha mentioned it before uh, today. So it's uh, a possibility to easily remove personal data like email, name, social security, bank number from customer conversation automatically and in bulk. So this function from, provides the option to delete only personal sensitive information, but keep the ticket. And the next one is uh, data masking. So data masking uh, provides you the possibility to ensure agents see only the customer data they need by hiding sensitive data based on the agent's role. So as you can see on the screen, we have sensitive data, in this case it's phone, and we can do the data masking for uh, the agent so they don't see the phone or some special, uh, I don't know, email, some security number, and for team lead, uh, he've got the possibility to view all the sensitive information. Uh, so for sensitive data such as, uh, uh, sorry, yes. And the next one is advanced encryption. So you can straighten service data security by getting more control over encryption with self-managed keys. So all the desk uh, plans offer at rest and in transit encryption, but keys are managed by Zendesk. So this feature enables encryption key in the system outside of Zendesk. And this brings this uh, the privacy to another level. And uh, last but not least, I want to share with you the roadmap of the advanced security solution. So uh, at the moment, we have the uh, first uh, feature launched in the October 4th. And then we have the next function, data retention policies and data deletion. Uh, it should be launched uh, tomorrow. And then the three other features will be launched in 2020, 
2024. So at the moment, there is a good opportunity from the desk to receive a 50% discount till all features are on track. So I really recommend not to miss such an opportunity. And also from my side, I would like to uh, share with you our Zendesk professional service op offerings. Based on our experience, uh, we have created pricing place based suited for a successful start with Zendesk. So uh, if you are interested in education and you only plan to start using Zendesk as your support tool, uh, Zendesk implementation services will help you here because we provide here uh, admin training, agent training, and also we do all the accounts that are. The next one is uh, audition services. So in case you have any questions regarding at which step, at which period uh, at the moment you are um, with Zendesk, for example, you're using Zendesk a few years, but you don't know what are your next steps, how you can improve it you can use our audition services. And the next one is uh, support. So also in case you need high quality support or administration, we have the uh, support services that can meet, meet your needs. And uh, we have also, of course, Zendesk AI professional services. So you will be able to optimize your support by using our Zendesk AI offerings. And, uh, we cannot uh, leave you only with the prices that we have without some uh, special offerings. So we have discount 20% for you till uh, the end of this year. So please make sure to scan QR code to receive 20% discount uh, for our cl Cloudflare professional services. And uh, I think I uh, it's all from my side and I'm passing the word to our host, Zhenya. Thank you. And thank you, Ola, for your part and for your presentation. So it's time for our Q&A session. And I just, uh, I will read uh, some questions from the beginning. So we have one question from Mateusz. Uh, I will read it. Hi, everyone. We see that customer support platform uh, are constantly improving and adding new useful functionality like workforce management, AI, uh, security, etc. What other trends would you highlight for the for the development of customer experience in the coming year? I suppose uh, I suppose it's questions for all our speakers. So please, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to talk about one. So um, I think definitely our trends book would would be a good uh, start for reading um, after this meeting. I'll just link it again. Um, but one thing I think a lot of companies are doing now, oh, sorry, um, are investing in their knowledge base. So a lot of companies are working with partners like Cloudfresh or they're doing it themselves and they're really making sure that their knowledge base is up to date. Um, it's got lots of helpful articles about some of their main contact reasons. Um, and this is good for two reasons. So one is because obviously it's a great central source for self-serve. So you can always um, you know, point your customers there. Um, but secondly, it's very good for generative AI. So if you have a strong knowledge base, and um, then you can give generative AI more context for how it should give the answer. Um, because obviously generative AI is going to be based off things like your Zendesk knowledge base or other information sources. So uh, definitely something that a lot of companies are investing more in. Thank you very much, Aksan. If someone would like to add, Maxim, Sasha, please, you're welcome. Or I can uh, pass to our second question. Oh, I would only probably emphasize the meaning of AI. So I think that AI is really the biggest thing that is happening right now. And uh, it will be dominating the news. It will be dominating the changes in the X world. Thank you, Sasha. So we have uh, the second question is from Veronica Boron. Uh, the trends ebook looks very interesting. Where do you get data from? Is it your own research or secondary data? Um, yeah, I'll take this one from Ultimate. So we use, I think, uh, lots of different um, sources. So, for example, leading um, companies like Gartner, Forrester, um, who are obviously focused on trends in this space, um, but also some in-house research and a mix of, of other sources as well. 
Thank you, Exxon. Uh, uh, so we have questions from Karen Dixon. Hi, can you change an employee schedule for one day if he already had a schedule before? And the second one is, can you create custom reports? Uh, Maxim, I suppose this question is for you and you uh, commented, please, uh, could, if you have, if, if you could add something, please, you're welcome. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, it's already answered in chat, but uh, yeah. As I wrote, you can uh, you are able to configure manual schedules for the each agent and assign it to to them. Yeah, and also TimeShift has uh, have very interesting features that uh, your agents can uh, ask managers to change their schedule. It's a, it's a feature called like change of schedule, and uh, they can make a request for a manager who is changing their uh, graphic work schedule yeah and uh, custom reports for sure yeah yeah you uh, you can use this very interesting interface it's a little bit similar as in desk explore if you know uh, what i'm talking about and you have a big amount of data to create different reports and uh, uh, also uh, you're able to create different diagrams uh download data yeah and also upload some specific data to analyze and make some like forecasting thank you maxim and uh, the other question is from anastasia uh mm -hmm. can i connect a third party key provider or do i need to use a key issued by zendesk i suppose this question is for olga uh, yeah, uh, I think I mentioned it in the presentation uh, that, uh, like, by default, uh, the desk uh, is um, the one that's responsible for the encry encryption. But if you talk about this uh, new add-on, security add-on, there is a possibility for you to use uh, this encryption outside of the desk. So it make it more um, encrypted or oh, how we can say it you know so yeah so at the moment add-on brings more security because you can save uh the in this key uh information some in some third party that you um that you use for example thank you Ola. Uh, I, I would just just add here so our internal yeah. name or actually it's not our internal name anymore so within this add-on so the feature is called bring your own key so I believe it answers the question. Thank you, Ola and Sasha. Uh, the next, uh, the next uh, question is from Erika. Since we heard a lot of, uh, about data protection and privacy, I would like to know from Ultimate: Is my data safe with you? Uh, Exxon, please. <laughs> um, yeah. So with for Ultimate, we're um, EU GDPR compliant and also SOC two Type two certified um so yeah we work with a lot of global security uh, conscious businesses um but it's really important to us we're constantly running audits every year to make sure that we're continuing to be certified um and then i think obviously since generative ai there's a lot of concern about um you know how how does that process the data and um with us we for generative ai we have uh, servers in europe so we use microsoft azure so the data never leaves Europe um, for any of our AI processing. Thank you, Exxon. Uh, the question is from Anastasia. In which plans of the desk is this add-on available? I suppose this question is also for Olga. Uh, this add-on is available only for Suit Enterprise uh, Enterprise Plus and also for support uh, enterprise. So only for enterprise users. Thank you, Olha. And the last question is from Bogdan Kravchenko. What level of technical expertise is required to manage Zendesk AI? This is a great question. And I have a simple answer to that. Uh, the answer is any. So it's good for the beginners. It's good for the advanced users. And basically everything is already taken care of. And uh, if you don't have too much AI expertise or even zero, just a couple of knowledge articles on our end, how to enable, how to work with that, and you are equipped to go. Thank you, Sasha. Uh, so I would like you to ask, uh, I would like you to uh, you choose uh, 
two best questions from our audience in order just we choose our winner. Please, you're welcome. Sasha, Exxon, Ola, and Max, what do you think? I like the question from Mateusz. From and Mateusz. I believe that uh, kind of the icebreaker always deserves the best prize. It's always the most challenging task. And uh, we need to choose a second question, please. Sir. So Mateusz is one of our winners and uh, the last one. Bogdan, uh, maybe? Bogdan, Bogdan Kravchenko, so Mateusz and... Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. My congrats, uh, you are our winners, uh, so just I will connect with you shortly. And uh, my congrats uh, once more, so just and I would like to... Um, I would like to remind about our special offer, three hours of free consulting from our Zendesk experts. Uh, claim the offers or the offer simply scan the QR code and fill out fill out uh, our form. And I would like uh, to say thank you, our phenomenal presentate, uh, our phenomenal presenters, and to all of you for your time today. I hope this uh, meetup uh, uh, was useful for you. And until next time, goodbye, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.